In a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 103, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, warned that whoever has their deeds scrutinized by Allah, the Exalted, on Judgment Day will be punished. It is important for Muslims to understand that even though enjoying the lawful pleasures of this material world are not prohibited, they often lead to the unlawful. For example, vain speech is usually the first step before sinful speech. In addition, the more one indulges in unnecessary lawful things, the longer their accountability will be on Judgment Day. One should bear in mind that Judgment Day will be a difficult day. For example, the sun will be brought within two miles of the creation. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Jami, Atimizi, number 2421. While one waits for their accounting and during their final judgment, hell will be face to face with them. Therefore, the longer one's accounting, the more stress they will endure. Even though a Muslim may be forgiven and saved by Allah, the Exalted, but nonetheless, the longer their accountability, the greater stress they will endure. Seeing as Judgment Day will be 50,000 years long, according to the Holy Quran, it does not make sense to enjoy a few decades of lawful pleasures if it means one will face a difficult accountability on a day which will last so long. Chapter 70 al Ma'are, verse 4 During a day the extent of which is 50,000 years. It is therefore best to lead a simple life in order to minimize one's accountability on the Day of Judgment. It is one of the reasons why the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised in a narration found in Sunan I.B. near Majah, number 4118, that simplicity is a part of faith. It is a simple life which will cause the poorer Muslims to enter paradise 500 years before the rich Muslims, as their accounting will be less. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sunan I.B. near Majah, number 4122. Seeing as people do not generally live for more than 80 years, does it make sense to live an indulgent life if it leads to a delay in entering paradise by 500 years? This assuming of course, one enters paradise directly without being punished in hell first. A Muslim must always remember that the more they indulge in lawful worldly things, the more they will face stress in this world, the more it will distract them from preparing for the hereafter, which involves using the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, and the harder their accountability will be on Judgment Day. Whereas, the one who leads a simple life, whereby they obtain and utilize worldly things according to their necessities and responsibilities without waste, excessiveness and extravagance, will obtain peace of mind and body, and they will be encouraged to prepare practically for the Day of Judgment, which leads to an easier final accounting. It does not take a scholar to determine which path is best.